we present decaf, monocular deformation capture for face and hand interactions. The objective of 3D hand and face motion capture is to reconstruct the global dynamic 3D motions of hands interacting with the head along with non-rigid face deformations. We frequently touch our faces in many situations. During such interactions, hands cause face deformations that can convey expressions different from those caused by contracting facial muscles only. Accurately capturing such effects in 3D is crucial for many downstream applications such as VR, AR, and avatar communications, where realistic facial movements are essential for creating an immersive experience. Several existing approaches estimate 3D facial geometry, hand articulations and shapes or whole 3D body shapes without interactions, and other methods reconstruct 3D hands interactions with objects. However, none of the works reconstructs deformation due to interactions between human body parts. For instance, when hands interact with a face. On the other hand, when we employ the existing monocular hand and face trackers independently, we observe incoherent 3D reconstructions of the head and face without plausible interactions and deformations caused by the interactions. In contrast to previous approaches, our decaf captures hand face motions in the 3D space while estimating the face deformations arising from the interactions. Our approach is neural-based and assumes a suitable dataset for training in the new setting. As such a dataset with facial deformations and annotated face-hand contacts does not exist, we record a new one with a markerless multi-view 3D system combined with a deformable object simulator position-based dynamics. For the simulation, we also consider the underlying skull structure that influences the stiffness of the face mesh. Thus, we propose simple but effective stiffness computation using the statistical human skull and skin mesh model. For more details, please see our paper. As a result, we obtain plausible 3D reconstructions of the interacting face and hand, along with the deformations on seven different actions and eight different subjects. Here, we compare our method to other related methods. Our decaf shows highly accurate hand-head interactions with plausible facial deformations caused by them. While other methods lack such deformation modeling, which results in implausible hand-head collisions. We next show the results without the hand overlay. The estimated deformations are natural and follow our intuitive expectations. We now show results on an indoor sequence. Thanks to our deformation and contact estimation network as well as VAE-based interaction depth prior, our results exhibit highly more realistic interactions compared with others. Lastly, we show our tracking results along with the estimated contacts by our network. The blue color on the face and the red color on the hands represent the estimated contact regions. Thanks to the estimated contacts and the deformations, our reconstruction shows highly plausible face and interactions. Thank you for watching.